Hi all and welcome back. Today we have a new energy efficiency tip of the day. Uh, it is very important because I will talk about uh, a step-by-step -step guide in order to achieve 30% energy saving in our facility. Uh, I call this approach Tiger approach and uh, let's go inside and see why we are talking about this. First of all, why we are most of the time talking about the, the, the energy saving? Uh, maybe you heard about the energy dilemma before. Simply by 2050, we will be requested to double our uh, energy demand. And this is what will happen according to the, the current development. On the other hand, also we will be requested to cut our CO2 emission to have according to the effects that we are seeing from the greenhouse gases. In order to do that, simply we need to do more with less. And this is the simple definition of energy efficiency. So the energy efficiency will be the key answer for this dilemma. Um, on the other hand, energy efficiency also, due to the increase in the, in the energy prices that we have seen worldwide, became an, uh, a profit center for most of the companies. So if you can cut your energy, this means that you can decrease your uh, operational cost and improve your overall portability. Definitely, on the other hand, we are talking about uh, decreasing the CO2 footprint and this will, will improve the environment and also this will leave a healthy environment for our next generation. How we will do that? The methodology is simple. We need to Im uh, implement or embed the energy efficiency or energy management system in the whole supply chain. I call it the DNA for the uh, company's processes. Uh, in order to simplify what I want to use here, I, I came with an acronym, I call it the TIGER approach, which is built on uh, the typical energy management system approach according to the ISO 15001 and the other best practice. But from my point of view, this is different because slightly different because it will give more focus on very specific pillars, especially from leading from uh, the front line. I'm talking about the uh, energy efficiency awareness. Let's go inside and see what I mean by that. The T stands for the technology, uh, and this will give you 10% uh, overall energy saving if you manage to implement uh, the low and medium and high cost opportunities. And um, see, this is why we are putting this daily energy tips for the boiler, uh, bumping system, compressor, and other systems. Uh, and th this will work as an eye opener for you in order to see where you can find areas to save energy. <clears throat> Uh, the I stands for the integrated management system. Uh, this is the simple system that you have to put in place. And even if you manage to make a project to save the energy without a system in place, you cannot sustain uh, the result. So the system as a system is very important. And I will give uh, a dedicated tip for this one in order to give it uh, more time. But anyhow, putting a system in place will give you 5%. And I also will, will provide you with a free virtual assessment link that to help you to uh, uh, audit your system and give you an action plan how you can improve it. The G stands for the general maintenance practice. This can give you also another 5%. Uh, and very soon we will start a troubleshooting serial in order to see you how you can um, uh, restore back most of the equipment uh, with a simple diagram, how you can restore it back uh, uh, to the good condition. Uh, putting the, the equipment in a good condition definitely will help you to decrease the energy consumption. Uh, the, the E stands for the efficient uh, operation procedure. Uh, so this also can give you 5% if we manage to put the good practice during the startup and shut down other processes. The R stands for the raising employee awareness. This is very important pillar. Uh, I call it this concept, the three E concept. This can give you 5% also. If you take care about the employee awareness, they will take care about the exploration about or finding more opportunities. And this will speed up the uh, energy efficiency uh, process. So this is a very important process as I showing you here in this diagram. Um, uh, at the end, the saving that we are talking about here, we are talking about a huge saving, 30%. And uh, just put in mind that you need to do that as integrated system. And definitely the equivalent amount of CO2 footprint also will be saved. What kind of action we can do? Uh, you can join the, the proactive energy managers group that I, I made before. And uh, you are welcome to join this one in order just to be part of the uh, any, con uh, any discussion uh, related to that one. And also uh, you can review the approach. I will leave a feedback link uh, in the description of this video or inside the article if you are reading this from the article in order to get your feedback and uh, tailor made this kind of approach or system that I am putting in place to give you the maximum benefit according to your systems. So uh, please try to participate in that. It's just two minute survey uh, questionnaire. Very simple, straightforward. Just will give me a good, a good feedback about what you really need and how I can help you. 
this was a quick tip for today i hope you like it please share it with others in order to share uh, the knowledge and um, uh, i will uh, be happy to reply to your question if you have any thank you so much and see you in the next step see you